So the um, third motility of the brain, this is what is going to help us with the mobility. Huh? So exaggerate again with the hands. You put your hand on the brain. You have a slight opening. You have a clockwise rotation and you have a slight movement of the left hand anterior. Pause for three, four seconds. And then you go, the two hands go closer to each other, counterclockwise, and the right hand go anterior, 15 to 25 seconds. Movement, very, very delicate movement in reality. And come back, two hands open, clockwise, and the left hand go anterior. This movement is symmetrical, synchronous, but at the end it creates some type of reciprocal motility, so that the third motility of the brain, as opposed to the motility described by Sutherland, of, which is perfectly symmetrical and synchronous, and that will produce a movement of the, the growth of the brain is the embryo, anterior, superior, and posterior, right? But this could also be a embryological motility because the brain also grows against the fox in a reciprocal movement, right? So it's also a different type of motility, a different type of embryological motility, and there's like 20 different motility like that. Okay, thank you.